shopping here. There's movies, adult star profiles, and much more. Plus, you can hear What You Must Watch, updated every Wednesday on Inside the Industry Radio, every Wednesday night, and on the Inside the Industry Roku TV channel. You see, everything is there. Go check it out today, themall.sexy. Are you feeling like the spark has fizzled out in your relationship? Has the excitement between you and your partner taken a back seat? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. Many couples experience a dip in desire over time. But guess what? There's a solution that can reignite that flame and bring back the passion you once had. Introducing Shivers, the revolutionary sexual enhancement gummy for both men and women. Yes, you heard it right, for men and women. Shivers is here to help you and your partner rediscover that sizzle in your relationship. Now picture this, you and your partner feeling sexy, confident, and absolutely irresistible. That's the power of Shivers. Our specially formulated gummies are designed to help you feel more aroused, increase sensitivity, enhance your libido, and get you in the mood for some steamy nights ahead. But that's not all. Shivers isn't just about the physical. It's about reigniting that emotional connection with your partner. Say goodbye to those days of feeling distant or disinterested. With Shivers, you'll both be eager and excited to explore each other's desires once again. Oh, oh my. Don't let a lackluster libido dull your relationship any longer. Try Shivers today and let the passion take over. Shivers, because every moment together should be electric. Available now at shivers.store. That's shivers.store. If you like your cartoons, comics, animated porn, and games that are... Are we on? We're on. Yeah. You know what? I'm so Hi, everybody. It's James Bartolet. So Welcome once seasons. again to another episode of Inside the anymore. Industry. I mean, it is I Wednesday, August 14th, and we've got two incredible guests in the house with us tonight. This, They're both incredibly popular, this duo. <laughs> but this gal has become a huge popular star with the fans all over the world. The lovely, beautiful Miss Haley Rose is here with us right now. Yay. And also with us here, this man is big not only here in the United States, but also in Latin America. Mr. Max Phils is here with us as well. <laughs> That's a nice shot of my belly. Why did oh, you great. do that? Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay, great. Um, Foxy, uh, a quadruple award winning adult film TS star is going to be calling in in a little bit. And also, Ro Major is going to be calling nice. into our show as well. Um, next weekend mm -hmm. is the Urban X Awards. You kids are going to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she's it. nominated. Yes, you yes, are. For Best New Starlet. I'm very yes. excited. Yes, you this will are. Be my first, I know. Ah, my first Urban X, so it'll be great mm -hmm. to see everyone. It's a wonderful yeah. location in downtown Los Angeles on Broadway. It is open to the public. Please go to UrbanXAwards.com and get all the information on how you can get a ticket. But thanks to our good friends at the mall.sexy, remember 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, the mall has it all. Our friends at the mall.sexy gave us three free tickets to give away for our viewers and listeners out there so you could win a free ticket to go. So what you want to do is write into Inside Contest at gmail.com that's inside contest at gmail.com and you'll be entered in that contest to win a free ticket to go to the urban x awards which will be saturday august 25th now on the 23rd misty stone and i are going to be hosting the hall of fame event yes. Uh, where we're inducting all of the people into the Urban X Awards Hall of Fame, and then afterwards we have 
the lingerie party. Oh, yeah. And then we that. have an event on Saturday and then the award show on Sunday. So it's a whole big Urban X Awards weekend here in Southern California. Fingers are crossed that we're not going to have an earthquake. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, last year we had torrential rain and an earthquake right before the award show. Oh, we do have... A lot of earthquakes have been hitting here in Southern California. Before we get going with the show, if you live here in Southern California, please be prepared. They are saying on the news now we are due for a very large quake that is going to hit. They don't know exactly when. You should have that little app on your phone that will tell you if there's an earthquake coming up. Yeah. Um, so make sure you have an earthquake hit at home. Um, you have a preparedness route to get out of your building or out of your home. Stay away from windows. Don't be in a doorway. People say go in a doorway, right? No. The door swings on its hinge and cut off your fingers. So the okay. best thing to do is to get under a secure table or couch or a bed. Not under a glass table. <laughs> but oh, no. um, And then cover your head. Uh, if you're in your car, pull over into an open area so buildings don't fall on top of you. And then watch out for a big crack in the earth. You don't yes. want to get sucked down into uh, Middle Earth. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Do not um, dive into the crack. Be prepared. Have water. Have medicine. Have food for your pets. Have food for yourself. Can openers. Um, maybe a, a flashlight, not candles, because... If the earthquake happens, the gas lines are exposed, kaboom, blow up. That's yeah. Okay, so, so be prepared. Now, I know a lot of adult stars were telling me that they were on a set and they were <laughs> having sex, and they go, I just thought I was having a good orgasm. Yeah. What I mean. the heck? Oh, it was an earthquake? Wow. <laughs> you were on a set. I was, hit. yeah. And I didn't even feel it because we were rolling. And then they were like, cut. And they're like, it's an earthquake. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I so had no you idea. Were, you were in the middle of having sex. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I really had no idea. Because wow. especially when I'm in a scene, I'm so focused on that. Like, I Good. I don't even look. I, I'm like totally like tunnel vision. Yeah. So I had no, yeah, I had no idea. But the, apparently the camera was shaking. That's wow. So funny. Yeah, and the lights like were shaking. They were like the light guy was like holding them. He's like, because <laughs> you know. And then the ball. BTS will be up on YouTube, oh, you know, God. going like, oh, look at these people. They were shaking around. <laughs> were you on Maybe a set, caused. Max? Uh, this last one, I was on my. You way. were driving. I was yeah, I was driving to. Uh, I was driving driving to this Mills house actually, just to shoot nice. some content. Nothing crazy. You were shooting with Manuel, weren't you? Yeah. Manuel Ferrer? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you don't just do scenes together. You do scenes with other people. Yeah. Which yeah. a lot of people have seen. But a lot of people probably out there know you for the two of you doing scenes together where you're like step siblings yeah. or cousins or Especially something. Especially like when we started in the industry, we the first thing we had was our couples only fans. And then we started doing professional scenes. And I would kind of like maybe like tell the companies like, hey, like, I really want to shoot with my partner, like, it'll be a great scene, and, like, gave them, like, kind of pressured that to Were happen, you together before you got into the adult industry? Yes, yeah. yes. You went to college. Yeah. Wow. I know. We were, <laughs> what, I was, like, 20, you were, like... Yeah, something like that. We were both, yeah. I was, like, 22, maybe. And were you so, swingers, or, or yeah. are you in the, you're, so you're in the swingers community? Yes. Because we have a lot of swinger fans out there that watch the show all yeah. the time. Yeah, so when we got together, we started with an open relationship and then mm -hmm. we like I don't know we didn't like seeing people separately and it was more fun to see people together so we just started swinging like pretty much when we wow. were in college yeah when we were yeah. in college we started swinging yeah. well doesn't everybody swing in college I yeah. mean god <laughs> I mean it's, well, it's she, like she when you check in for your freshman year here you go here's your books here's your map to the yeah. classes and, and uh, here's some, some condoms, condoms. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And some lube. Yep. It's really funny you mentioned that, though, because you, you planned an orgy once. I did. In college? in college? I did. And no, but nobody showed up. 
No one showed up. Why would my nobody orgy? show up for an orgy I don't with know. you guys? No, the thing was, so it was me and my good friend that I did threesomes with often. So we were planning the orgy, and so if only one of the guys had showed up, if just one had yeah. showed up, he would have gotten a threesome with the both of us. Wow. But no one showed up, so we just like ate some pussy and went to bed, <laughs> called it a night. Like it was, it, yeah. It, 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 so a girl showed up. Yeah, because we were like oh, planning okay. it. It was like there. She was like my good friend. Wow. So, yeah. Dude, next time you get an invite for an orgy, go for God's please, sake. Yeah, please go. All right, let's take a call here right now. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Just now, which chips? We have these scented chips here. They're from Korea. Yes. This is the uh, mermaid pussy flavor. Yes, it is. Mm. It's really yeah. good. Mm. Let's see. Let's have a taste. Oh, my God. Mm. It's you know, lamb. And we made hamburgers tonight, so we're going to have yes. hamburgers. Because it's still August. And also, who doesn't want to watch a hot girl eat a cheeseburger? Right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, how do you eat it? Do you rub it all over your breast or yeah, something? Yeah, they make sure to drip the sauce onto me. And do like... you remember that commercial <laughs> yep. that Paris Hilton did? And she goes, oh, yeah, this oh, is hot that was or iconic. something. And she was eating this gig giant hamburger <laughs> she couldn't even get in her mouth yeah, or that, something. That was one of the best advertising campaigns, like, in history. It was... Carl's Jr. They mm. like hired Megan Fox and like yeah. a yeah, bunch, of, bunch of beautiful girls to eat hamburgers, and it, was, it went super viral back in like so the early 2000s. We should do that with her, yeah. Yeah, with Haley Rose, I mean, and put it on the on the TikTok there oh. for the kids. That's genius. See, yeah. that's genius. Now, <laughs> speaking of that, are you on the TikTok and the Reddit and the Instagram and all of the other yeah, stuff? Yeah, my main one is Twitter. I love my Twitter fans. But yeah, we try to be everywhere we can be. Are you on uh, Twitch? No. no. We're not on Twitch, but on we, Twitch. we first got popular on Reddit. Oh, yeah. wow. We're yeah. going to get to that in a second. Let's take this call. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hi, am I caller number nine? Did I win tickets to Janet Jackson or something? Yes, you did, as a matter of fact. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Foxy. Yay! <laughs> did I win tickets? Hi. <laughs> And, uh, How's everyone doing? Congratulations. Good. By the way, Tori wasn't <laughs> able to make it at the last minute. She had to go to the emergency room. Oh. With, uh, oh, no. she, had, she had a bloody nose or something. Oh. And uh, But I know you just finished a movie that, or uh, you did a movie last year that's coming out now um, with Tori, yes. right? What, what, what was yes. that? It was called... The title of it is called Gorgons and Goddesses. Ooh. Ooh. So it's so basically it's about Medusa and her two sisters and the goddesses, you know, the Greek goddesses, and how how they came into our, you know, we're having a big party and we're just living it up, drinking wine and having all the fun we're, you know, we're having and they come in slithering, and they basically put a spell on us and con us into a big orgy. And this is an all-trans cast? It's an all-trans cast. Um, there, was one, um, there was one trans man who was Austin Spears, who played one of the gods, and then there was um, another gay performer who played one of um, who played Apollo with one of the other guys, um, but they weren't in the sick part. It was just mostly all the all of us girls that did one big orgy. Wow! And it was like a lot of the big name girls together was something that probably no company could probably accomplish, but we definitely made it happen. Wow! And it was awesome. It was. And it's out now. It was now. a long day, but it was fun. And it's out now. It's out now on Adult DVD Empire. Okay. So definitely check it out. Um, it's also on our OnlyFans um, for purchase. So yes, we we went ahead and waited for um, this year to release it so that it can be up for nominations because it wasn't gonna cut the deadline for last year. Right. So we decided to wait for this year to release it. 
Now, uh, Haley Rose and Max Fields are here with us right now, Foxy. Haley. Uh, hi, it's good to see you. <laughs> you, you know hi, her? darling. Yeah. How are yeah, you? We've met, we've met on set before. She's so great. Such a great person. Well, I told her about the event that you and Crystal Penn yes. are doing in September. So they said they want to come to that. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely come. We want everyone in the industry um, to come and have some fun and relive and let's tell them what this adult. is. This is the, um, is it being called the gay prom or the queer prom? We, well, we called it queer prom because Inclusive. everyone has a different, mm -hmm. you know, um, whether it's the gender or preference or whatever, we just figured we'd just call it queer prom. There's a little bit of queer in all of us. True. But, <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? What, and, and and we have some fans that want to call in. <laughs> okay, well let them let them call in there. Then Foxy, we're gonna we're gonna let a fan call in with us. Okay, hello there. We have a fan caller coming in. Uh, we've got Foxy on with us as well. And uh, I'm James Bartolet, and we've got Haley Rose and Max Fills. And who are you? Woo! Shit, I, it's going back to Foxy now. Oh. All right, Foxy's back. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. We'll try the next one. Then pop the load. <laughs> Folks, remember, when you call in, please turn down your radio and pull your pants up. Masturbate after you watch the show. Yes, please. <laughs> 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 that that happens all the time when Foxy's on. She used to come on my show on Sirius XM, and people would go, "Is Foxy there? Is Foxy there?" And they'd be like, <laughs> "And it was really tough because they were truckers and they were going from Texarkana uh, to San Diego, and the guy's going on his truck and listening on Sirius XM. Is Foxy there? The <laughs> air crash. <laughs> you can't be liable for that. Yeah, you can't be liable. Come on. First of all, don't masturbate while you're driving. Hello, McFly. So and if you Foxy, do keep four eyes event, on the road, um, can we put the graphic up? Do we have the graphic to lay up on, on there, Edric? I can't do it live, so I'm going to put it in the... Oh, you're going to put it in post? Okay, great. All right, so Foxy, what is the link so we can tell everybody live right now? The link to the Queer Prom? Yes. Okay, it's going to be... Um, you can see all the information and read all about the purpose of... Um, putting the prom together and it's basically just so that everyone can relive their high school prom as an adult and as you are now mm -hmm. so you know we want you to come and bring your friends you know your lover your partner you know come by yourself it doesn't matter it's everyone in the industry is invited and we just want everyone to just have that prom moment and just have fun. We're going to have um, a couple DJs who are um, in the industry oh, who are going to be um, DJing. And then, um, you know, we're going to have the whole photo set so people can take prom photos. And Oh, yeah. Um, you know fun. those prom photos where they, oh, yeah, where they pose like, like this? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in, yeah, in, we in, totally want to do that. In your prom, they'll be naked doing that. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> they'll be grabbing instead of putting their hands on the chest, it's gonna be hands on the ass and the boobs and the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Max. He's already prepping. For yeah. That. <laughs> so it's it's basically just a, a night to just get dressed up and have a good time because you know, like sometimes we attend. We attend all these um, events, award shows and stuff, yeah. but we never, you get all dressed up, but then you don't really get to go out and have fun afterwards because it's like, we're the after party or yeah. oh, I'm too tired or, you know, it's like, this is a time that we can all get together just for fun. And it's a, it's a charity event, so oh, that's what, what we're trying oh, to aim for. that's wonderful. What is the yeah, charity, so Foxy? It's going to be for the LA LGBTQ Community um, oh, Center. Oh, very good. Yeah. So, yeah. We're trying to do something good and give back to our community. Mm -hmm. We love that. Love to hear it. So it's going to be um, September 4th at the Avalon Theater in Los Angeles. That is on uh, Vine Street, uh, right off of That's Hollywood Vine. Boulevard. Impressive. Yes, Hollywood and Vine. Mm hmm and you can um, RSVP and get your ticket on the Flaming Hearts 
flamingheartmedia.com website. Flaming Heart Media website. Flaming, okay. Flaming Heart with the S. Mm-hmm. Flaming Heart Media. Okay. Dot com. All right. Yeah, and it has it has everything there. Um, all the information, what we're doing, how we, what, what the reason of us putting it together. So yeah, it's it's gonna be fun. Well, that is wonderful, Foxy, and thank you so much for calling in to plug because this is a very important event, and we want everybody to come down. And if you're not actually active in that but you're a supporter of the community you should come down yeah. to this thing because again this is for a very good worthy cause and I come mm-hmm. down and you're going to see some incredible outfits and some very beautiful stars and a lot of celebs and stuff down there so it's going to be a, a really great night. I remember the Tea Awards several months ago and there was yeah. the paparazzi was all out oh, there I on bet. the street getting pictures of <laughs> yeah around. oh yeah oh yeah yeah the two words have gotten really huge this oh god yeah. over the oh, years yeah, it's gotten really big at the awards. Oh, yeah. oh yeah and and and, and it's yeah. a wonderful <laughs> show there god yeah so foxy well um, anything new projects that you want to plug i know you're going to be here next weekend for the urban x awards congratulations on your yes. nomination Thank you. And yes, I'm excited to be back and see everybody at Urban X. You guys are definitely like family. I've been attending Urban X since, gosh, four years now. Yeah. So I'm glad you guys are back, having a good time for everyone to come out and, you know, just have fun too. Like Urban X is one of the fun award shows. It really is. Like Thank it. you, honey. Can't wait. And then, um, yeah. and also congratulations, you, uh, we just cast you on uh, Lulu in Wonderland, Triple X, our new animated Yes, that's going to be a new project, so yeah. that I'm excited for. Thank you so much. And Welcome. yeah, just to be the first trans performer to actually be in an animated. Did you read the script yet? Sexy stereo. No, not yet. I have to I have to sit down by myself because you know all these kids around me. I'm like, eh, hold on. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. But you have that very key line that we want to hear you say there. Instead of cut off your head, you say, "Suck my dick." <laughs> what? Instead of cut off her head, you say, "Suck my dick." <laughs> No, well, well, make her give head, but that's club. But you could say that too. Okay, so that's great. So she's she's playing the Red Queen. So it's a takeoff on Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, I'm gonna basically be um, like the Queen of Hearts. The Queen Queen of Hartons. <laughs> All right. Oh listen, my you God! Be safe I out there. I was there. I did. Oh, that's well, we're so see adorable. You in so sweet. Literally like. seven days, baby. I'll see you in seven days. Okie dokie. Well, y'all have a good show. Thank have a good you. night, Haley. Hope to see you guys soon. Yeah, I'll see you and at Urban I will talk yeah. to you later. Oh. Yeah. All right, Foxy. Everybody, let's hear it for Foxy. The queer prom is on September fifth. All right. All right, let's go to some uh, other callers because there's been like tons of people. The lines are open now. So, what? Oh, fifteen missed calls. Wow. Um, get on your social media and say call again. Oh, that's probably why because <laughs> I will tell them. I will tell yeah. them. Yeah. Right All right. Um, what is your social media, by the way? Oh well, we got to go to the calls. Boy, they're eager little beavers, aren't they? Okay. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where you calling from? Oh, wow. Turkey. They changed their name. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Turkey did change the mm-hmm. pronunciation of their name. It's Turkey A now. Yeah, for the it's West. So. It's called Turkey A? Uh-huh. Yeah. Because they didn't want to be a bird, you know. They didn't want to be a bird. So what? Like when we go to Thanksgiving? <laughs> Couldn't you pass me a little Turkey A? <laughs> well, no. that's the point. Is they want to be separate. Yeah. Oh, they want to be separate from that. Uh-huh. Yes. So the country is Turkey the cur- A. The country. Oh, but the bird the cur- is still Turkey. Uh-huh. The oh, I thought you said the guy was a turkey and he was just calling in. <laughs> no, he's from Turkey. Oh, he's from Turkey. He's from Turkey, yeah. Oh, well, please, call in again. It's 
2580. Did you kids put that oh, yeah. in your social media? Yeah, it's up on my Twitter. Right okay, now. well, let's put it again. Say, call in again. The lines are crazy busy here. All right, because we got some popular stars. Um, <laughs> our friend Guy um, sent over some questions for you kids. Oh. Um, for Haley, he's asking, yeah. he said, it's been a busy three years for you to build those 75 performer credits. Yes. You have worked for some good companies as well as with some great male talent. Yeah. If you were asked to write a series of porn scripts, hmm. what genre, genre of adult films would you choose to write about Ooh, Haley Rose. That's a tough one. Well, I mean, I Is feel like Is that the name of the scene? <laughs> oh, it's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't use any lube. I think- He's well, scratching my urethra. I really like Gonzo, so it would maybe just be a Gonzo series, just like right. about my boobs. Because I could, I mean, we could- And those are, uh, those are, are natural. Movies. Yes, mm -hmm. yes they are. Yeah. But, um, so you developed at an early age. Yes. Yeah, around 13. Good 14. God. I know. I it was not it. comfortable for me as a young person, but obviously as I grew into myself, I very much love having them now. But wow. Yeah. So. And when did you start <laughs> yeah. growing into manhood and your uh, balls dropped and <laughs> you started shaving and stuff? Um, I don't know about that, but the day I became a man was when I first fucked my first MILF. I was, I, Which I think a lot of our viewers and listeners would agree uh -huh. to. Yes. <laughs> was, I always remember my first, first milk oh, and my yeah. first beer. Yeah, so I found her on Craigslist, actually. Oh, what? the person. What? Was. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. A little bit. But yeah. it was fun. Because you could out. show up and it's a motel room and it's some guy in drag. House. It was at her house oh. in. That has happened to me once. But that's a different story. What? Oh, oh God. no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if I've heard this story. <laughs> God. I just left. So I figured the person was wearing a blanket. I was like, okay, I'm leaving person. It was horrible. You didn't know about this? I don't think I've heard this story before. Yeah. Wait, I, but wait. anyway, the, the anyway, girl okay. it was at her house, and her husband was there. And um, it was in Santa Clarita, and this like really happened. I met up with her like twice, and oh, she's, nice. she's cool. Did like her husband okay. watch? Max, no. I, I, okay, we're going to go to the call, but I'm going to tell you something right afterwards. Okay. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Uh, California. Do we we got to turn up his volume. Here we go. <clears throat> what was that again, caller? Uh, California. California. Okay, say hello to Haley and Max. Hi. What's up, Haley and Max? Nice to chat with you. You're on the nice air live with us on Inside the Industry. Have you got a question for them? Uh, shit. Mm, I mean, damn, Haley, how are your tits so fucking awesome? Oh, my God. I don't know. All I can say is that I grew them myself. They're, they're homegrown, <laughs> homegrown, 100% organic and natural. So. You cannot get yes. this in the garden department over at Home Depot. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they are fucking, like, the best tits in the industry, honestly. Aww. Like. No, like anytime I see your videos, I'm like, damn. And then <laughs> just the little faces you make, like you're you're sexy as fuck. And 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 she's very attractive, and she's so true. sweet and down to earth, <laughs> isn't she, caller? Mm -hmm. uh, no, yeah. very, very much. Honestly, I think there's like a video on her Twitter that's like labeled like I fuck this random dude, like waiting for Max or something like that. And I'm like, damn. Oh yeah. She's bloody yeah. as fuck. Oh, look at Max, he knows all of them, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's, he's just kind of leaning back going, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that one. He's, yeah. he's in there every day Let's helping see, me yeah. with all my content and everything. No, so. me I mean, hey, I got a big cock. I got a stroke for something, you know? <laughs> well, true. that poses a great that. question. Yeah. So the caller is saying that he is well endowed. Congratulations. Congrats. Yay. Thank uh, you. But a lot of times when these guys say, uh, I've, I've got to be cock, and they get on the set and they see the camera and the lights and all the people, they go, Meow. you know, so you've got to be able to stay hard with complete strangers around you. Yeah. Can you do that, caller? That's a skill. I'm not going to lie. That, that is a is. skill. That's, why that's something, like, that's why that's something I respect. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've seen Max fuck quite a few hot bitches and I'm like damn this guy's man for all those all those cameras I'm like damn he's pretty uh -huh. skilled for all that but yeah. I mean honestly I don't know how you do it either babe like I, if I was a guy I don't think I could do porn I don't think it would dude it's crazy go. they're so far out of my league that you think <laughs> 
like, oh, my God, yeah. you ha- I have to be in the right mental space, otherwise I'll come immediately, because they're, like, so far out of my league also. And I'm proud of you, Thank by you. the way, because <laughs> you don't come on the set and enhance yourself. No, yeah, I'm one back of the in our, Back in when I started 20-plus years ago, we didn't have all these pills and the Calverjet and these guys, young guys your age, they're injecting themselves. And yeah. They're doing all of this stuff, and yeah. that's wrong. It's really know? not like yeah. a good long-term strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. true. All right. I mean, I, it was nice to talk to you. I heard it was nice to talk to you. You got to go to another caller. Keep watching. Damn it! Okay. I was trying to talk Let's to this. I was trying to talk about those big cities. Who's this? Where you calling from tonight? What's that? Oh. What's that? Oh man. No, oh, there we go. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where you calling from? Hey, this is Peter calling from San Francisco. Hey, hey, Peter up in San Fran. Hi. All hey, right, sir. baby. <laughs> Say hello to Haley and Max. Aren't they great? Yeah, man. How y'all doing? Good. It's good to talk to you, Peter. <laughs> good to talk to you too, Haley. Aww. Well, like we were saying uh-huh. with the last caller, I mean, I know there's a lot of guys that would love to get with Haley. Sure. Haley, do yeah, you do a, yeah. a fuck a fan thing? I haven't really done one. Um, I don't know. The, see, I have mixed feelings about it because I feel like it would be a really cool project and a great opportunity for these guys. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, OnlyFans sort of frowns upon the practice. Like, uh, you're not really meant to use OnlyFans as a website to then meet in real life. So you can't yeah. talk about it on the OnlyFans platform. It's right. technically against their terms and conditions. Yeah. So it's kind of like something I have thought about doing, but I just don't really know where I would sell it. Yeah. Well, uh, you could do it maybe on the loyal fans. They're a little looser. There's and other websites And you can do the many sure. vid. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, I heard Fox is looking for some new content. <laughs> you know, you can probably put some stuff on there. I would love to. Maybe <laughs> after, you know, repeats of Married with Children or something. No. But seriously, it's, it's, it's a very difficult thing, caller, for the civilians out there to come in and do that back in the day when we did everything on vhs and dvd we actually had fuck a fan stuff and they you know the fan had to get tested sure and then they get to be with you but the next best thing you do pov don't you i do yes tell them i do many pov videos with max with other people i also do a lot of solo videos so my only fans has all of that content ready to go and you can just imagine yourself in there. Yeah. Right? So you can say, and, and, and there you go. Your fantasy is fulfilled. <laughs> you know, you get or your favorite. Least, um, do yeah. you have a toy yet? Nope. No, I don't have a toy yet. Actually. You need to get a toy, like a flashlight. Awesome. Actually, or, Max has or, been asking. He's like, I need someone to make a toy of you so I can, so he can use it when I'm gone. Well, <laughs> our, our friends at Duke's Hardcore Honeys might be watching, so let's get a... Um, toy made of her oh yeah oh, but, love love now how long have you been in the industry i've been shooting professional scenes like around two years okay um, so it's about yeah. time fleshlight has a large waiting list i'm sure it they really do. does yeah. Yeah. Really do. yeah. and you've got to do something different kind of like bad dragon hmm. does a thing with the octopus tentacles oh, and yeah, they stuff have crazy dildos. so you've got to do some like crazy Haley rose i think it would be cool you know how they have like the dark the torsos thing. now, like the sex toy torsos. Okay. It would be cool, like in my dreamland, in my head, I would have a torso of me. Because, I mean, everyone, like, that yeah, the really pussy cool. is nice, but you need the tits. You need the tits. Yeah. Okay, let's see a raise of hands out there. How many people would like to see a Haley Rose toy, but of her torso? Raise your hands or your penis. Oh, okay. But- <laughs> All, right. All right, good, good. How's the, cha- how's the chatter in the chat room? Good? Quiet. Okay. Haley. Okay. All right. Um, do you have a question for Haley before we uh, let you go? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I just really want to know, right? And like, Matt can answer this shit too. I just want to know, cause like I've always really thought about that just doing the industry on some shit. I'm. I've tried my other events and I thought that would have worked and it didn't. So I'm really just wondering. For somebody that's starting out, have no relationships. How should I start off? You feel me? Like, should I start solo? Should I start? You know, how should I start off? Just give me an idea. 
You can get in really easily if you like if you do gay porn. <laughs> I promise. Oh. We're doing I, solo. Yeah, doing solo. solo. I got offered gay porn so much when I first was starting. So you yeah. could do that, or you could just do solos, or you could just go online and apply to a talent agency. That's the right. most realistic. Yeah, yeah. What? I, I get this question a lot, and I honestly really don't have a good answer to it because our like us starting in the industry was such a unique thing, and what we really did was okay. We made sure to build our brand first, and okay. then go to the companies. Okay, um, we gotta let you go. Right. Thanks for your call. Good call. Let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where you calling from tonight? Hello. Yes. Hello. You're on the line. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't think this would work. How are you? It does. You're on Inside the Industry. I'm Hi. James Bartolet, and my guest tonight is Haley Rose and Max Fills. Do you have a question for them? Oh. Um, I don't know. I didn't think this would actually work, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Well, that's really cool. It's, it's good to chat with well, you. Well, congratulations. What a great thing to put in your diary. Yay. Okay, let's go to our next call. All right. Hello, caller. Who's this weird calling from? Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Oh, See, what I think it is, tonight. you put the phone number up and they think it's like one of those little um, sex <laughs> panther jack-off things. <laughs> they might be, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. Right, yeah. Whoops. Okay, so to answer Max, um, uh, Guy's question, um, oh, the yeah. kind of genre of adult film you would want to do would be Gonzo. It would be, but if I had to do something else, because like Gonzo, been there, done that. Mm -hmm. I actually just filmed a movie based on my true life, so it was more Ooh. of like a real, realistic, like realism, true to life type of thing, and that was really fun because I got to reenact um, a story from my college days. Oh, but, cool. Yeah. With the orgies. Yeah. yeah. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from tonight? Hello? Yes, you're on. Go ahead. Hey. Hey, guys. It's, um, it's David. I'm from, from Georgia. Uh, um, from Georgia? Actually, I didn't I've get actually... the name. David. you got to turn that speaker up just a little bit, David. Henry. D David. David. Oh. David from Georgia. Well, David, Hi, David, say hello to my special guests here, Haley and Max. Yeah, I've actually had the pleasure of meeting Haley and Max many times before. Um, uh, we've, we've come across at all the different expos and everything. Um, and, and, and absolutely want to praise both of them because they are some of the hardest working creators that I know in the industry. Like everywhere I turn around, these two are always working with people, doing scenes and everything. So props to the both of y'all um, for, for all the hard work that y'all have done lately. Thank you so much. Um, it's really cool to talk with you again, and um, I really appreciate you saying that. I, we do work really hard. I've been the last three years have been a whirlwind of me putting my all into this industry, and it's been so much fun. And it's really like the most rewarding thing is to hear from fans like you that they're seeing all the work that we do. Like that's that's all I could ever ask for. Honestly. Absolutely. And, and and to flip it around for for a question for the audience. You know, uh, how would you say that for creators especially, how do they balance that work ethic to where they're not hitting that burnout point to, you know, where they disappear for a couple months or so and such in the industry? I mean, sometimes I don't. <laughs> it's the true answer. But I think, um, like, like you say, you do have to balance it. Like, we're planning one or two trips at the end of this year that are just for pleasure and for fun and to take some time off because and the way no, no shooting or no anything. shooting yeah. yes because the way it works especially now that only fans is a thing there's basically an opportunity every hour of every day for me to be making money and yeah. in my head sometimes i'm like i could be chatting right now i could be making this video i could be doing that and sometimes it's hard to like separate like pull that pull away from that and be like no i need to just take care of myself spend some time with the family like yeah. do some other shit besides like that money because it's so tempting to just be like in that cycle all the time so I, the truth, and i think yeah. since we do it with each other it's also good to have someone else where like i'm like hey babe like let's take an hour off tonight like let's go to the movies let's go out to dinner let's go do something random together yeah. because like it's easier to pull away from that when he's asking me to <laughs> very true yeah. do we have another caller oh okay go ahead all right we got a new caller in here who who's this honey where are you calling from 
Hello? Maybe. Uh, hi. Okay, same, uh, it, it's st still David. David with Georgia. <laughs> I didn't call you, I, I thought we had this female caller. Sorry, David. Go ahead. Oh, David, how'd you like that answer? Isn't that, aren't they wonderful? They're so <laughs> down to earth and cool and sexy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Stop. dude. You're cool, Haley. Thanks. <laughs> David, any more questions? Okay. No, All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Okay. Nice Next caller. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. Eight one eight two three one two five eight zero. Okay. Um, I've got a question for Mr. Max Phils, please. Yes. Um, it goes as follows. This is from Guy. He says you have been blessed to do several scenes with the lovely Haley Rose. Yes, I have. You also got to work <laughs> with Presley St. Clair and Jill Cassidy, who's going to be in our new movie Scissors. And we will get to the rest of that question after this call. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Give me the caller. Give me the caller. Uh, this is Jeff, and I'm calling from Illinois. Well, hello, buddy. Say hello to Haley and Max. <laughs> hello. Hi. Nice to chat with you. What's up, dude? Nice to meet you. You too. You too. Do you have a question for them? Uh, any new scenes coming? Oh, yeah, there scenes. you go with your new scenes. Okay, well, this is actually a perfect time for me to talk about... Um, I have a special release coming up on my OnlyFans, and then also with Adult Time. A lot of guys get a release when they watch your scenes. Well, Gabo! I, I hope so. I hope so. That's the whole <laughs> point, right? Stroke, 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 <laughs> release. But yeah. I have a movie coming out. It's called All or Nothing. It's Haley's first gangbang movie. Ooh! Yes. So this Caller, what do you think about a gangbang with Haley Rose? No, I think it's hard. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, it was based on a true story from my college life where I fucked three guys at one time in a college classroom. But didn't you just say you had an orgy and nobody showed up? That well, that was time. the orgy. Oh, this that was, was the gangbang. Orgies and gangbangs are just different She's things. Wild. Oh, well. <laughs> I bow to your superior <laughs> knowledge of pornography. Yes. Go on, go on. But yeah, so it's called All or Nothing. It's coming out on my OnlyFans on uh, August 23rd. And um, yeah, it's about the story of how I met these guys. Um, I got them all, I convinced them all to come into the classroom and we do this gangbang. And it I was like a came. crazy scene. But <laughs> yeah, they all came on me. It was so much fun. Max was in it. Um, and I had two other lovely men. So yeah, it was great, great. And yeah. everybody's tested and everybody's cool. Yes. And yeah. hydrated. Hydrated. It's so important. Max, let's tell the guys how important it is, whether on camera or off camera, to be hydrated when you're fucking. It's very important. That's how you have a big load. Also, because I feel like guys sweat a lot when you fuck, so yeah. it's like you've got to yeah. replace those fluids. Yeah. It's important for me, too. I mean, important. especially when I'm doing my squirt scenes and crazy things like that. Oh, I'm, I'm chugging water. Yeah. Now, I knew some girls, because you actually look like you could have been a sister with them. They were called the <laughs> Steven Sisters. Cool. Some of you guys from back in the days will remember Whitney and Brittany Stevens, okay? They, they used to come on an old show that I had, and they did a trick on oh the God. show oh about God. squirting. Oh no. And they poured the water in their hand, and then they cupped it inside their vagina, and sure. then their uh, Kegel muscles held the water in and then when the squirt came they went release like the fountain on the Vegas strip just oh my <laughs> god <laughs> yeah that's really fun what the fuck yeah that's I mean, crazy yeah. I would love to see it I'd love to now, see that now um, let's tell Haley Rose who's on here with us with Max Phils on Inside the Industry how much of squirting is actual some kind of vaginal lubricant or how much of it is urine I mean I well, they, I, I don't think it matters. I think if, if the girl's hot enough, it doesn't matter. But that's beside the point. Well, think, it um, does matter because <laughs> if you're, you know, the guy's like, blah, 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 you know, yeah. I think, I mean, from my personal, I can't speak for anyone else, but speaking for myself, it is not just pee. Like, it definitely smells a little bit like pee. But in my mind, and we need more scientific studies done on this, but in my mind, <laughs> okay. it's a mixture. Dr. Rose? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a mixture of maybe some urine and other fluids as well, because there's like, because there's been times where I've squirted and squirted and squirted, and then I get off set, I'm like, I need to pee. Like, I go off the scene, and I'm like, I need to pee so bad. And I go, and I pee a bladder full of pee. So there's like, 
Like, I've wow. definitely squirted a lot and then peed right afterwards. So there's no way it's only pee. And, and, and that happens to a lot of people after sex. you got to go yeah, pee. You gotta go oh, pee. Yeah, you got to go pee. you got to clear the urethra. Yeah. Everyone yeah, with a urethra it. should pee after sex. Oh, God, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's everyone. Fun yeah. Really, it just <laughs> well. Yeah, it is, a, it, it is a fact. All right, caller, how was that answer for you? <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was hard. It was real good. Okay, good. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching. Keep watching or listening to us. And we're going to go to our next caller. Okay. Hello, <laughs> caller. Who's this and where are you calling from tonight? Nobody yet. No? Nobody yet. Huh? Okay. Remember, folks, when you call in, turn down your radio or your TV. And, uh, and then we want voice. And turn up your voice. Yeah. <laughs> now, remember, you can watch us live on our Roku TV channel. It's free. We love that. You know, it's free, fish. thanks to our wonderful sponsors. Uh, Roku TV, it's Inside the Industry with James Bartolet. Also live on my Facebook page right now. And also on InsideTheIndustry.net. Go to the website, and it's on there, right, Edric? Okay. Yeah, it's on there right now. And, of course, we're on iHeart, Spreaker, Google, Apple. We're on everything. Um, Max, may oh, I yeah. get to your question from Guy? Yeah, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, from Guy. He says um, he wants to congratulate you on 152 IAFD credits. Let's go. Um, his question is, of all the production companies you've worked with, what is your favorite camera, lighting, and sound crew you worked <laughs> with? <laughs> That's what an interesting question. question. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to alienate him. Um, Naughty America, Shelby Black, and really? his and his pr uh, PA, uh, okay. Cade. Okay. They're my favorite. They're very, they're very smart people. I really like talking to them. Uh, yeah. And then it's easy day on set always. Yeah, those are and quick it always days. Looks good. That's the important it's, thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks so good and it's so painless. Yeah. How about like you, that. Haley? Um, well, lately I've been working a lot with um, Michael Vegas and Susie Q, and they okay. are just a pleasure to be around, and their entire crew is always such good energy. Oh, that's um, good to hear. Being on an adult time set is just, it really is a good time. Everyone is there to support you. and Yes, so, they are. Yeah, they Very really make me feel at home. Yeah. 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 All right, well, let's take one more call before we go to a commercial break. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Southern California. Nice. All right, who's this? Uh, my name is Jake. Hello, Jake. Hi, Jake. Are you Jake from Allstate? <laughs> no. Yeah, State you know Farm. it with the khaki. State Farm, okay, yeah. All right, Jake, uh, say hello to Haley and Max. You have got a question for them. Hi. Uh, do I have a question for them? Yeah. Um, shit, damn, Haley, how do you make it look so fucking sexy sucking that dick? Like, oh, my God. I, I mean, I don't... Actually, so I... Actually, I've had a couple ex-boyfriends who have helped me out a lot and coached Get me. Get right up in the camera the and say jobs. that. Yeah. <laughs> Get right no. up in that camera and tell them that. I yeah, I've had a couple exes who really coached me on the BJ skills. They helped me out. They got me off the teeth. Like, got me getting the lips right, all tongue, everything. And so, I also very much like to pay attention to the blowjob. I feel like it's easy to maybe just like not try and apply yourself to it, but I like to use my tongue, I like to open up my throat, I like warm it up to get some spit, you know, whatever. It's it's fun. It's like it's nice to be creative on something that can be taken just very literally and and sometimes boring. Oh, if I'm and, yeah, and I mean, some yeah. girls on the side, out of like, yeah, don't do I was gonna that say much out of, attention to it. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say, out of all of the porn stars I've seen, like you're like one of the girls. It looks like you fucking enjoy that shit. Like you're good as fuck at that. No, I actually do really like sucking dick, and sometimes, like, Max will attest to this, but I will literally get his dick hard, suck it for two minutes, and then go off about my business, and he's left there, like, what the fuck? Because no, I, I mean, just like honestly, playing with hey, it. I just like, suck you responded. I like sucking on it and playing with it, but it's like, but, I mean, I also already did fuck him twice today, so it's not yeah. like he doesn't get his nut, but... When you wake up in the morning, do you guys have sex or do you just wake up? It's like 50-50. Yeah. Really? Because there's some days where I'm, he has a big scene that day and I'm like, okay, I don't want to steal your nut before, you go to, before he goes off to work. That's so true. Sometimes we'll fuck and he doesn't even come. And he'll make me come a few times and then he, he goes to work and saves up his nut for work. So. What makes you come, Haley Rose? 
Honestly, I feel like I come easiest from penetration. Like, I feel like a lot of women don't. Um, but I, once I'm like wet and ready, I'm like, just put it in me. Like, I'll come on your dick. Yeah. Now, yeah. is that actually, penetration stimulating the G spot inside, or just yeah. anything going in there? Like no, I could, I could get a Subaru and put it in there, and you'll come. Well, I don't think know. it would fit. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's definitely there's definitely a spot. Like mine's like on the front, like just like up in there. But okay, are you taking yeah. notes at all? <laughs> don't be a quiz leader. Yep. Are you taking notes? <laughs> it's up on the inside. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Caller, uh, take notes on that because you know, it will be a Oh, no, I got – I was going to say one one thing before I go. Actually, Haley, you responded to one of my tweets. Yes. Um, shit, you should see if my dick's fucking – do I get fucking okay. enough, man? <laughs> oh my you goodness. responded on this. I mean, it's fucking – I posted it as a response. You'll Aww. see it. Yeah, I – um. well, I'm always on Twitter. I'm, like, a little bit – we're both a little bit addicted to Twitter, so – yeah, keep keep tagging me and commenting and shit. I'll see your shit. I'll give you. I'll like your stuff. So yeah, right, I'll tag and comment you right now, then. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. And, and isn't that isn't okay. that so cool that we've got a show like this that you could watch and listen to, where you can actually call in and talk to them live? What a great opportunity, right? You know what? Cool. I was gonna actually ask if. Haley or Max could post where to watch this live. I was trying to figure that out. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, Let me get on that then. Okay, I, so we're going to we're gonna break to a commercial, So, but if you want to, uh, call her if you want to, you can watch at InsideTheIndustry.net Okay. Do you have Roku that sounds TV? Good. Put our, uh, I do not, but I'll, I'll figure something out. That, yeah, well, what? That's what? I'm telling you right now. Go to InsideTheIndustry.net or go to my Facebook page for James Bartolet, James Bartolet 9, and the video's on there, and then we're on the, um, what, the iHeart and everything like that yes. to listen to it. But you want to see. Well, hell yeah. Yeah. You want to I mean, see. No, hell yeah. Or the shirt for a reason. Come on. Oh, get no, yeah, close without a doubt. And show them she's the bosoms there. You've got to see my big there. dick. i got to show her my. Yeah, she's got to see my big dick. i got to see those big dicks. There's a place where the ladies wear no pants. There oh, she goes. Look. Yes, All right. Thank you, caller. All right, one more caller before our commercial break. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name's Shadon. I'm calling from Monterey, California. From oh, Monterey, sweet. California. What was the name again? I'm sorry. Haley's giant Shadon. bosoms Shadon. were in the mic. I couldn't hear you. I can imagine they're quite distracting at times. Yes, they are. What? And, and uh, but yes, again? my name is Shadon. 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 Okay. That's actually on his uh, driver's license. Yeah, that's wonderful. That is. Oh, you know this? No, story? I don't have to do a thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, do you have a question for Haley? Yeah, I was just wondering, Haley, what's your favorite way of collaborating with people? Oh, you know what? There's actually um, this new app coming out called Liaise. That is a great way to connect creators together for collaborations. Um, it's oh. going. It's going to be on the App Store very soon. Um, and yeah, it's a really cool app. There, basically, you have to either you have to be vetted to go onto the app. So it's like a like closed a, community. A, so you have to be referred, or you go through like the the what's it called? Application process. Like an application oh. process. So they make sure you're a certified creator. Like you can That's upload. Smart. Yeah, you can upload yeah. examples of your work, and then you can go through and like sort through the different creators and match with people. Maybe that you, you could do the fuck a fan thing on there. Exactly, Maybe. something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, so if you need a photographer, if you need a videographer, is, how big is the audience on this thing? Because it seems like these well, there's like things are popping right up like now, question, That's a great James. question because yeah. there actually are about five thousand people on the wait list right now. For no, this there's app. Way, there's a much more it's, than that on the okay, wait list. Okay, well, it's been like growing that. in the past couple uh -huh. weeks a lot. Um. um and, yeah, so I'm actually, we're part, we've been helping get this um, app off the floor, so we have a lot of, like, our friends on it, and okay. stuff. Um, well, we'll get right. on it, too. There, we'll get on yeah. it, too. Yeah. You're right. There are a lot of, like, applications that have tried to do this and have died and failed, mm -hmm. and it's usually because they have horrible user interface, right? Yes. It's really yeah. hard and expensive to make an app that's easy to use. Yeah, um, so um, the so we spent like three or four years making this, and it's fucking beautiful. Yeah, it doesn't look right. like an old '90s website. It's actually very easy to use. It looks great. <laughs> yeah, right. the interface good. is great. Good quality people on there for collaboration. So check out Liaise in the App Store. Yeah, that's funny. You all right, all right, that. caller. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate that. One more question: If you could collaborate with anyone, Haley, who would it be? James 
Park Lane. Oh, thank oh, no. you. Honey. Oh, thank you. I don't know. That's like the question I always blink on. I'm really bad with names when we're live. But I would love to do another collaboration. Mia Khalifa. Oh, Mia Khalifa. I also. Um, no. Who's the other one? Um, A lot of reds. No. 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 I, oh my God, I'm blanking. Uh, Billy Ellish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay thank anyway. you, caller. Let's go to our next call. All right, thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks. All right. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Oh, you did? Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's break to a commercial from our wonderful sponsors, the Mall.Sexy, Duke's Hardcore Honeys, Ooh. and Shivers. Mm. That's right. We have the male and the female enhancement gummies right mm. here. Just take one because oh. as juicy as you are. If I take two, will my pussy explode? Uh, it would probably would. Oh, no. But you go to <laughs> shivers.store and put in the promo code ITI. That's easy to remember because you're listening and watching the inside the industry. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a big discount when you check out to get these male and female enhancement products. Hey, All good. right, we will be back with a lot more right after this. <laughs> Hit it. So confused. There's so many porn scenes to watch, but how do I know where and what to watch? I mean, I only want the best stuff out there. James, don't worry. It's all at the mall.sexy. There's more than just shopping here. There's movies, adult star profiles, and much more. Plus, you can hear What You Must Watch, updated every Wednesday on Inside the Industry Radio, every Wednesday night, and on the Inside the Industry Roku TV channel. You see, everything is there. Go check it out today, the mall.sexy. Are you feeling like the spark has fizzled out in your relationship? Has the excitement between you and your partner taken a back seat? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. Many couples experience a dip in desire over time. But guess what? There's a solution that can reignite that flame and bring back the passion you once had. Introducing Shivers, the revolutionary sexual enhancement gummy for both men and women. Yes, you heard it right, for men and women. Shivers is here to help you and your partner rediscover that sizzle in your relationship. Now picture this, you and your partner feeling sexy, confident, and absolutely irresistible. That's the power of Shivers. Our specially formulated gummies are designed to help you feel more aroused, increase sensitivity, enhance your libido, and get you in the mood for some steamy nights ahead. But that's not all. Shivers isn't just about the physical. It's about reigniting that emotional connection with your partner. Say goodbye to those days of feeling distant or disinterested. With Shivers, you'll both be eager and excited to explore each other's desires once again. Oh, oh my. Don't let a lackluster libido dull your relationship any longer. Try Shivers today and let the passion take over. Shivers, because every moment together should be electric. Available now at shivers.store. That's shivers.store. If you like your cartoons, comics, animated porn, and games that are hot, raw, and uncensored, well then check out dukeshardcorehoneys.com. That's Duke's hardcorehoneys.com you can see the sexiest erotic stories that feature curvy women, milfs busty teens and well hung studs there's superhero porn, horror porn and suspense porn, monster porn and horny housewives with hundreds of videos games and thousands of comics you'll be guaranteed to come back and have a great time Plus, check out the new Twisted Tales animation line, featuring the voice talents of some of the most popular stars in the adult entertainment industry today. And coming this summer, they'll be adding some new hardcore VR animated porn scenes onto the site as well. So check out dukeshardcorehoneys.com. You won't be disappointed. That's dukeshardcorehoneys.com. 
hardcorehoneys.com. It's time again for the exciting Exotica Expos. And Exotica 2024 is going to be bringing you so much more for you to discover and experience this year. Here are the dates for 2024, so make your plans now to attend. Chicago will be April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Miami will be June 28th, 29th, and 30th. New Jersey will be October 25th, 26th, and 27th. And Washington, D.C., December 6th, 7th, and 8th. Exotica 2024 will again be featuring the biggest stars in the adult entertainment industry with fun and informative seminars, stage performances, product vendors, webcam girls, the Exotica Dungeon Experience, Couples X Lifestyle Experience, and so much more. And remember, ladies get in free on Fridays. For the ultimate Exotica experience, try the three-day VIP pass and go VIP. Tickets are available at ExoticaExpo.com. To see the stars attending, see the seminar schedules, see the list of vendors and booths, and get information on all of the after parties, go to ExoticaExpo.com. Exotica Expo, number one in the U.S. for over 17 years. Remember that site and visit them today. ExoticaExpo.com. All right, welcome back it's Inside oh, the Industry. It. I'm James Bartolet. This is Haley Rose. Beautiful. We just took Beautiful. a little picture there. Fun. And Max Phils is with us. He's filling his belly right now with the True. hamburgers. We made hamburgers tonight. Yay. Yes. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. And that's the uh, Kobe beef. Very good. Mm-hmm. It's so delicious. Mm. All right. Our phone number is 818-231-2580. All right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're waiting for Maxie to get over here. So sorry. I <laughs> Your fan base is huge. They're so dedicated to you. I feel like, I don't know how big it is, but I know their quality. And that's mm -hmm. a lot of things I focus on when I build my brand. It's like, I like fans who interact. I like fans who are nice, who are supportive. Like, I don't really deal with people who are, like, mean or pushy. I kind of block a lot of people on Twitter because I'm trying to foster a really positive community. Like, I don't need... Do you have people that, that are mean? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, honestly. I really? actually had this one guy. So I have an email, email up on my link tree, like, publicly, so people can email me. And I had this one guy who had sent me hate mail. And he would be like, you dumb bitch. I hope your mom dies. And I hope, like, you kill yourself. Oh, all this crazy shit. fuck you and, for saying that, well, dude. Well, honestly, I find it hilarious. I think it's so funny. I'm like, why, is it, why do these people have so much spare time? And they come up with the funniest insults, too. I actually just like to laugh at it. But, yeah. like... It's just crazy to me that someone has that amount of time, and like, it's kind of sad to see, to think of someone being that obsessed in such a negative way. Like right. that's sad to me. I don't want people to spend their life hating people and being angry and shit. So I don't know. That's it's crazy. No, that's very true. Let's get the three of us in Yay. here. Okay. And good, good. Okay, and I'll post that up right now. All right, call in right now, fans. 818-231-2580. Uh, Roe Major is going to be calling in in a little bit, too, so we'll be looking forward for his call. All righty. Now, how's the hamburger? Is that good? Good. I like the onion on top. Oh, it's yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I put nice the, um, when I, they were on a slow cooker there uh, with the shallot onions. Mm, yeah. Yeah, a little very sweeter. Good. Yeah. Shallots are a little yeah. sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Hello, caller. Who's this, and where are you calling from? Nope. No? Wow. Oh, okay, now remember, you're calling <laughs> in. You're calling into a live show. You're not calling in for a Sex Panther whack-off thing. <laughs> True. Okay? Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, there we go. Let's try it again. <laughs> Hello, caller. Who's this and where are you calling from? Maybe next time they call, you answer and say hello. <laughs> yeah. Because when they call in, there's a middle-aged Jewish guy going, hello? <laughs> you want pickles on the side with that? Okay. All right. All right, Max. Yes, hello. How difficult. Right, so now, you said you guys yeah. get along, you're swingers and stuff like that. There's never been anything where you've been jealous of each other <laughs> with how much fame the other one's getting or how much attention or somebody yeah. you're performing with. No, um, we absolutely get jealous. I think, yeah. I think anyone who doesn't get jealous is lying to you. That's a healthy thing. Yeah. yeah. A little bit, not a lot. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I, and you have to like recognize when the feelings come up and address them at the time. Because you, if you don't address it at the time it happens, then resentment builds, and that's just a bad mm -hmm. thing. That part, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, people ask us a lot, like, how we deal with that. And the only thing I can say is that we talk about it. Like, like th sometimes things will happen and be like, oh, that was, like, kind of made me feel uh, this way. And then mm -hmm. we'll talk about it, and we'll talk about, oh, do you want me to do anything differently in the future? Like, just making sure we know where each other's boundaries are. Because those things flex, fluctuate over time. Now, this is an important thing to bring up about boundaries in a yeah. relationship, especially if it's an open relationship. Right, Max? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah our boundaries, um, we try to keep it pretty simple. There's no reason in putting up a bunch of red tape. Uh, uh, boundaries change every now and then, so you know we just have to keep checking in with each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know. I mean, really, we're... We're not polyamorous, so like yeah. our biggest boundary is like no feelings. You know, the only person I go to sleep with at night is Haley. Right. You know, same yeah. with her. It's kind of silly because it could be yeah. like, yeah. like I would never be okay with you like taking another girl out on a date, but like you could fuck her, yeah. which is like so hilarious to think about. It's like <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> you can, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> I, 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 let's go into reverse. What was that? You're okay with him just fucking a girl, yeah. but don't go on a date with yeah, her. Yeah, like, don't buy her gifts. Uh -huh. Don't, like, take her somewhere nice. Like, that shit should be for me. Yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. Like, because we're romantically involved with each other, but we're not romantically involved or open to yeah, other people. I agree. I think all that energy should go to, to you. Yeah. Okay, so this is an important tip. <laughs> if you are in a couple and you're in the adult film industry and you're both performing, Remember that the intimacy of that relationship is for you two. Mm. The fucking is just the fucking, and that's what it is. It's a yes. job. It's a day at the and office. It's fun. It's yeah. fun, but it, yeah, it is a job. And it yeah. is what we do professionally now, so there is an element to it where it has to be professional. Not that, 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 not that I don't like go crazy and have fun on set, but it's definitely yeah. like, it's not the same thing there are strings attached like there are boundaries and there are rules and it's not just like free reign yeah. yeah yeah that's true now what do you do when you're having a tough day on the set and i'll start with you Haley, because i see max just got a big mouthful of uh, hamburger there um what do you do when you hit that wall like recently we were just watching our wonderful athletes at the olympics uh, this yes. last weekend and now the paralympics are taking place in paris okay. but um the athletes were always talking about hitting that wall hitting mm -hmm. that wall in porn you can hit that wall yeah when you're you can. when you're performing can't you yes what do you do when you hit that wall and you're in the middle of doing a scene what gets you over that hurdle I mean, it's different things sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I just need to like go chug a Red Bull right now and like wake uh -huh. up. But like other times I try to just like, I, I do a thing where I'm like, okay, I notice what my mindset is and what's happening at the same time. And then I think about what I would like my mindset to be. And then I try to evoke different feelings or like that helped me get there. So if mm -hmm. I'm like feeling bad, I'm like, okay, let me think of something that was sexy that I did recently. Let me think of something fun. Let me play a song that like gets me in the mood. So it's oh, just kind of like- Oh, a song, okay. It's mostly, I have like a little like 
meditation moment to myself. I like to recognize where I am, and then I shift that to like what I need it to be. Mm -hmm. And it's just like a quick little thing I do in my brain. Um, and I've been meditating for a few years now, so I feel like I've learned some tools from that to kind of just like adjust my attitude if I need to. Oh, okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Max, how I mean, about you, buddy? I don't need buddy? to get my dick hard, so it's not like. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to get your 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 um, clip wet. I went to an all boys private Catholic school. It was really hard and intense, and mm -hmm. um, we were expected to be the absolute best at all times and I'm just used to that mindset. I'm used the to pressure. like you have to perform no matter what. It yeah. doesn't matter if you have depression, it doesn't matter if you're broke, it doesn't matter if you're tired or hungry. You yeah. just have to do what you have to do. Right. That's like how I grew up and I, that's how I am now. Uh, yeah, I'm either do or die. I'm a do or die kind of guy. <laughs> Very true. So and yeah. and that, so if you hit that wall is there something that you think about, like Haley just said, listening to the music or putting yourself in a mindset? Max, what about you, especially um, as a male talent? I don't know. I try to just center myself, just stay focused and be like, you know, I'm almost done. Um, at the end of the day, I get to go home and see Haley and, oh. you know, and just, just try to tough it out until, until I'm done. Um, yeah, I don't think anything I do is that hard. Honestly. But I mean, sometimes you can be on a set and somebody is not as fresh as a summer's eve. Yeah, you know. It and how it do you? Happen. How do you? T t the proper way. How do you say? Um, you need to go and clean up a little bit or something. Well, like I that. think a way. I think a fun little trick that I've learned is you can make it like, I'm gonna go like baby wipe my pussy like let's go clean up together and make it like a group activity and that way they don't feel singled out and be like oh like let's go both freshen up really quick before or like oh we just cut like let's take a second to both freshen up like if that's and you don't think that they catch on now oh they catch on but it's just nicer than saying like hey you stink you know no, and that's it's true and it, when you're on set like that there are i am trying to be very mindful of whoever i'm fucking that day Building a relationship with them, being kind to them, yeah. being fun with them. Is she not like, the nicest person? Well, I mean, if this man wow. is has to get his dick hard in yeah. front of all these strangers, the least I can do is be nice to him. Right. And I think that I want him to get hard. I want him to be turned on. I want him to be invested in the scene because that'll make the video better. Babe, you are one of the best <laughs> female performers. Oh, she industry. really is. Like, just the fact, like, you are so good at keeping the dick hard. There are some incredibly big names that I've worked with that are horrible at keeping the dick hard. Yeah. I no, think, that's true. Well, and because they're women, doing it very half-assed. Well, and some women feel like that's not part of the job they want to be doing. And I, I respect that. I think if you don't want to fluff on set, you should never have to. But I do think, personally, for me, I like to do it because it makes the day go better. Let's go to a call here right now. Hello, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hi. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to say hi. Hi, yeah, I'm here. You're talking with Haley. Is anyone there? No. Okay. All right. So on <laughs> Roku TV, they're asking in the chat room. You oh. go to Roku TV. Um, add the Inside the Industry channel, and it's free. Right. Okay. I actually have. Like so many Roku's at home. These shiver female enhancement gummies are amazing. They actually tell taste them. Taste great. I don't know what's gonna happen to Max after he. The female, so. yeah, yeah, I know. We we're concerned for Max. He's gonna grow some this tits. This is my third female <laughs> enhancement gummy. <laughs> it's your. Oh. Whoa! You're Whoa. not supposed to take that much. Whoa! <laughs> I read it. I think I'll be fine. Wow. I read it. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. If you would like to get this yourself, folks, just go to shivers.store and put in the promo code ITI, Inside the Industry. Remember that. that you're watching and listening to that, so it's easy. And then <laughs> oh, go GMO ahead. it's GMO-free. It's GMO-free. Yes. Nice. And it's, it's, it's a great product. It'll help get you in the mood. All right. More questions from Guy here. Um... Guy said, I saw that you have a sushi roll named after you. 
at Kinza Sushi in Van Nuys on Van Nuys Boulevard. Oh, you do? I do. I have the James roll. I was like, I was unfamiliar. <laughs> and um, he wanted to know if I had a Thai meal named after me, what would it be? Ooh. That is interesting. I would have to get back to you on that because... A Thai meal? Yeah. A Thai dish, yeah. A Thai oh, dish. A Thai food. Really specific question. But now my sushi roll, check this out now. Mm -hmm. It is lobster. Ooh. Real lobster. I love that already. Avocado with the rice, uh, with the spicy mayo, mm. in the roll uh, with the nori, and then sprinkle on the little um, orange reddish roe, salmon okay. roe on the top. Yeah. And then that's, oh, and I forgot one more key that. ingredient. That. that sounds so good. Baked scallops. Oh, Ooh. literally nut yes. in mouth juice. I am a right. big fan so of scallops. Good. Baked scallops with lobster, and it's at hmm. exclusively at Kinza Sushi over there in Van Nuys. So what's your, if you could have a dish named after you, what would it be, Haley? What would it be, Max? Mm. That's a good one. What would you do? What's I your favorite like food you kids like to walk, eat? I love sushi. Yeah, I actually, I crave sushi, sushi all mm -hmm. the time. I crave it like all the time. Dish meat. It would. It would probably be some sort of like California. Honestly, it'd probably be like some sort of California like sandwich, something with avocado. I feel like it would turkey, be bacon, like a California burrito. You know when they put the fries in it yeah. too? Because yeah. then it would be like maximum mm -hmm. filling. That sounds like a lot of carbs. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Carbs are the best thing in the world. Well, you don't have to worry about it. You're young. You can be eating got, carbs for the rest of your life. I got 10 yeah, more so. years of carbs. And well, what, then what, I'm done. <laughs> oh, God, they took my watch. Yeah. Well, you looked at your watch earlier yeah. to say it's seven days from now. So True. I was just checking mine. All right, very yeah. good. All right, time now for the Inside the Industry News. Uh, AVN Hall of Fame uh, director Johnny Darko is Love. presenting seven glam girls taking on two to five big poles each mm. in Come On My Face 2 which is out now on DVD and VOD platforms. Adult Time Banner Transfixed today releases the first chapter of the new star showcase, Emma Rose. Remember, she was just on our show recently. Emma Rose Discovering Myself. And this one is called Unexpected Connections. And it stars Emma Rose and the very talented Miss Casey Calvert. And that's on Transfixed. Lesbian Housewives 2 is the newest release from Mile High Media's All Girl Banner Sweetheart Video and available now on DVD. Team Skeet has released its newest feature with my good buddy Lulu Chu and Kimmy Aww. Kim. It's called I Know What Chu Did Last Summer <laughs> and that's on Team Skeet uh, VIP. Uh, Reina Ka um, Katana Stars in Renaissance Fair <laughs> Fuckfest, a new scene coming out next week on transangels.com, filmed up in Canada. Oh. And cool. Kazumi has got a new one out now on Ricky's Room called Best Day Ever. And it's Aww. a three-way scene on Ricky's Room. And then finally, uh, model and producer Anna Fox. What a sweetheart she is, Anna Fox. Mm -hmm. She's appearing with creator and writer of graphic novel Punch, volumes one and two, Alan Amato, at the Golden Apple in Hollywood this Saturday, August 17th. And of course, next weekend is Urban X Awards weekend. We're all gonna be there. You can yep. be there too. <laughs> Thanks to our good friends at the mall, Sexy. We are giving away three free tickets for you, the public, for the fans to go to that. So write into Inside Contest at gmail.com. Let's take our next call. Hello, caller. And who's this and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, I'm calling. Hi, I'm calling from. Uh, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm calling from Encinitas, California. Oh, great. Our neighbor. <laughs> yeah i just want to know how long you've been in the industry before yeah so um max and i we started an only fans account together about three years ago and then wow. we've been doing professional scenes since november 22 so about two years of professional work and then but i my main work is still my content my only fans has the best scenes the most up-to-date scenes so mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah. But you get some great scenes, man. I do. I. You get some phenomenal scenes. You pretty much only shoot for browsers. Jules Jordan. Adult time. <laughs> Elliot Angels now. You, they, she just shot for Elliot You just Angels. shot with Mick Blue? I did. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, and you just shot with, um, who was it? Alexis Fox? Alexis Fox, yeah. Yeah. Shot with Cherie. Yeah, cool. Cherie, Cherie DeVille? DeVille. Mm-hmm. Great them. gals. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I shot with um, uh, Brittany Andrews recently. Okay. Oh, now Brittany <laughs> is an old buddy of mine. Oh, and and uh, yeah. happy belated birthday to Brittany Andrews. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. She kept trying to peg me. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> Next time. Exactly. She'll have side down. I want to peg you. <laughs> Shay Sites. I'm really good friends with Shay Sites. Oh, she's mm. so sweet. What a nice lady. She's so Love sweet. Her. her and her husband, too, are great people. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is interesting because you two were swingers before you got into this and before you started doing the scenes. What is that mean no i'm just smiling i'm proud of it oh <laughs> you're proud of being swingers okay Good. um what is your safe word when you're doing swinging because everybody has a safe oh. word when they swing tallahassee tallahassee uh-huh <laughs> the way he said it Tala- and I he had to like lean in too tallahassee <laughs> i feel like my go-to word is raspberry I don't, I don't know why or where it came from. But. Now, do people know to stop then for that? Well, we have, like, I feel like that's a code word for us. Oh, yeah. When I'm with someone else, I'll just be like, stop. And if they don't, then that's weird, you know? Yeah. <laughs> now, I hate to be a devil's advocate and couldn't bring this up, but, I mean, has there been situations when you've been doing the swinging thing and they got a little bit too aggressive? How do you get out of that? I feel like there's definitely... Well, I don't know if this is really the answer to your... What the answer you were looking for, but there's this one guy from a swinger couple who kept insisting on kissing Max. And he would, like, come up to you and try to kiss you. Like On the lips? Yes, on the lips. And he was like, oh, like, it's not... Like, he would just be like, oh, it's cool, you should try God, it. God, that even shocked my but crew like, over there, right? <laughs> they, all, yeah. they all went like this, like, they went, damn. Max kept being like, no, like, I'm not into that. But he kept, like, being so pushy about it. And I was like, that's just an odd thing right. to care so much uh, about. She defended me. She got in, in between us. I There was one time where I was like, listen, bro, he means it when he says he doesn't want to kiss you. Like, Yeah, I gave it the good old college you, try, you, you know? Yeah, I did. You kissed I wasn't once. being a dick about it or anything. But, I mean, you got to remember, when we're guys and doing these scenes, especially when you're doing a DP or something like that, oh, swords are going to kind of rub against each yeah. other. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's not a lot of space between that vagina and the butthole there. Yeah. yeah. So, you yeah. know, it's, uh, just enjoy that. I, why do you need to kiss them? Yeah. Did, did you, did you want to go look guy, for matching oh, uh, uh, plates and towels at Macy's <laughs> or something after the scene? That was also the, the guy thing? who wanted to do um, double vaginal penetration. Oh, yeah. With the dicks rubbing inside my pussy. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. it didn't oh. really fit super well. But, I mean, there's time. nothing wrong with that. But, no, I mean, that's, that's just fine. you don't like, swing that way. That's yeah, fine. No, we, do, we, we do DBP all the time, actually. It's one of our favorite things True. to do. We have done it. Really? Um, yeah. yeah. A good bit, yeah. Okay, it's so fun. again, at home, I hope you're taking <laughs> notes. She likes DP. Remember that for her DVP, Christmas. DP, because I don't oh, do D- anal. D- but, what? Double DVP, vag. double vaginal. Penetration. Oh, you naughty girl. Yes. I know, right? Yeah, I Oh, don't. my crew is just like <laughs> salivating at that, yeah. I don't put it in my butt, but I can fit two. Do you like um, the titty fucking? Oh, come on. I mean, like, your breasts I were was, made. This was, was God was like, go off and titty fuck. And here I am. <laughs> go off and titty fuck. <laughs> now, i got to ask you this. Now, I always say in my seminars at the Exoticas about getting breaking in the biz, number one rule you got to remember is if you're getting into this industry, talk to your family and friends first. Uh, right? Did you? No. No. <laughs> no. Did they find out? No, we told them after. We told well, them. they'll find out now because we're on international. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Hello, mom. Hi. <laughs> no. Uh, no. We're I porn mean, stars. I didn't really ever expect my family to react ne- negatively. Like my parents raised me very sex positively. Oh, um, good. So it wasn't like. It was just like you know, it's just hard to like as a girl to like tell your dad like that I'm oh, gonna God, do porn. Oh God, yeah. Like that's just not really easy for, for your mother. Yeah, I'm, well, I mean... Oh, your grandma. <laughs> yeah, my, well, my grandma Oh, you like know. corn? I like corn. No, Ooh. grandma, she's into porn. <laughs> I'm into corn, too. I kind of stick it up my own beer. Well, they have a corn cob dildo. I don't know if you've yeah. seen it. Oh, yes, oh, they yeah. do. Oh, yeah. 
Corn cob <laughs> dildos. <laughs> Maybe that's a line you could put out. <laughs> By the way, still, uh, sex toy companies that are watching and listening to the show, Haley Rose wants to get a sex toy, but of her entire Thanks, torso. Friends. Your your face and head too, or right. just from the neck down? Fa face is optional, yeah. but definitely Honestly, tits and pussy. If a full size sex doll company wants to do a replica of you, that would be cool. That as would hell. be crazy. We have had quite a few of them that have yeah. been around that we've done that I've for a while. Them. Yeah, they're yeah. cool. They're really there cool. There was one that we worked with, a uh, one a.m. doll, and we even had a talking and uh, vibrating Whoa. Uh, stroker. <laughs> Whoa! Like the like the sick. pussy inside of it. Yeah. So like you're going. I want to love you, baby. And then the <laughs> thing is talking, going. Oh yeah, daddy, fuck me more. You know. Well, that's so. Well, not. I think it's a little kid. <laughs> but yeah. Um, how do you? I, I have to ask you because you're two young performers here, yes. yeah. and you've done a lot of that taboo family stuff. Oh yeah. Are you it cool happens. on that? Or I've been noticing <laughs> that a lot of younger performers are kind of trying to stay stray away from it. And that some of the younger viewers, over 18, over 21, of course, but they're saying that they're not digging at so much the the, the, I, the interracial, I, I, I mean, lie. the inner family I, stuff. I want the trend to die. I'm really? sorry, but I want, I'm just so, it's so saturated. Mm -hmm. Like, I, for the past, what, five, ten years, it's been step family everything. And when I first got into the industry, I was very hesitant about shooting it, especially with my partner that I've been with for years, that I'm like, I have to pretend he's my brother. Like, that's weird. But then eventually I was like, it's really, like, not that big of a deal. And it's like, we look good. We look good as steps. Like, come on. Can't you see the family resemblance? So, <laughs> sorry. Well, have you but, ever been in public and somebody came up and said, oh, you should be ashamed of yourself fucking your sister on the movies? And, no, and but that. one time ah. this photographer called him my brother on yeah. the red carpet. On the AVN. And he's like, what, did you what bring your brother ass. with you? And I was like, I didn't even know what to say to that. I was like, that was rude. Oh, I've, no had, I've had stuff <laughs> on the red carpet with a young starlet and they go, oh, how cool you brought your daughter. And they go, only on camera, honey, only on camera. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, but wow. I mean, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. Um, one of these days, you guys may get deeper into this relationship and get married and have a family. Yes. Um, if your children wanted to get into porn, hmm. would you say yes or no? It a little bit depends on whatever porn becomes kind of in the ten, in the next ten years. But yeah. Here, here's the, there's no like. I want to be in a position to where my kids don't even have to work if they don't have, if they don't like want to. Like that's like you know what I mean. Like <laughs> that's of goal. course you should all everybody right? should yeah. work. I don't think they're gonna be in a position where they're gonna need to do porn because let's be honest. Mm -hmm. The reason why we did porn is because our job curve like paths were going to be very long hard and not very fun like i was going into finance you were going into teaching oh yeah like it's Fuck that. it was it would have been very we would have struggled we would have been struggling that is yeah. a cold hard fact and that's why we did porn and i don't think and we still struggle situation. doing porn yeah. 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 but i don't yeah. i don't necessarily worry about my paycheck like yeah it's the nice yeah. thing exactly. like i have the money that i like want to be comfortable and i feel like most people my age aren't there yet so yeah. like i'm very grateful that i have that opportunity especially because like my career grew so quickly yeah, i don't think they'll need to short answer i don't I, if they want to then they can do it in the privacy of their own house they don't have to that that is an interesting thing you come up with because i feel like i would definitely be okay with my children doing only fans but professional stuff, I feel like for some reason my brain only fans or loyal that fans or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. a subscription. Now, why site. would that be different? Sweetie? Well, I feel like when what? everything's behind a paywall, that's a bit different than like like you can go on Pornhub and watch all it's my the same shit. scenes. Let's be honest, babe. It's the same shit. I meant they won't have to do either. They can do it like if they want to go yeah, to like I'm, West Hollywood. Your they answer go to, like, isn't an answer. I'm trying to answer the question. Um. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> So what? You James has yes? gotten under the skin here on this one. I yeah. mean, Let's go back to the question then. Yes or no? Okay. Yes, because I just feel like I guess I'm... I couldn't tell my kid no if they really wanted to do it. 
I mean, this is way down the road, something yeah. like this. Yeah, happen. but it's an interesting question. This is a question. hypothetical question. To I would say yes, yeah. also, like, they have the option to, I'm not going to stop them, we're in America, but... It's a free country. I don't think they're yeah. going to want to. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they probably wouldn't want to either, because, like... Who wants to be the same as their parents? I always wanted to be different. Well, that's... Well, oh. it depends. You know, I kept from a show business family, so I'm in oh, show cool. business. Yeah. But, you know, I've been in mainstream for years before the adult stuff. Right. And I still work in the mainstream. You know, we got Scissors coming out and uh, Murder Motels coming out and several other mainstream projects. But um, I would... If my kids wanted... They're over... 18 over 21, actually. But, yeah, if they want to do it, fine. Yeah, fine. I, I agree. I and agree. I don't think you should get into porn until you're over 21. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm agree? glad, yes. I'm glad I was in my Thank 20s you. Really? when we yeah. started. You're not yeah. just saying that. You no, really agree and because okay. I think if I had entered the industry at 18 or 19, I definitely would have shot things and done things that I regretted later. Like fuck 100%. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Fuck yeah. And I think coming into the industry, in a secure relationship already in my 20s was like such a gift that I gave to myself um, because yeah I, I feel like I knew I had had plenty of sexual experiences in my regular life I kind of knew what I liked and didn't like so I wasn't like like it's great to try new things on camera but mm -hmm. there's also a certain amount of experience you should already have like I know for a fact there's some people who go into porn right out of high school at 18 and they don't have the sexual experience they maybe they're a virgin even and and fucking on camera is different than fucking in real life yes and if i've you, been on so sets different. and the girl's sitting there and she's riding on top of me mm -hmm. and the camera's over here and the camera is like look at the camera look at the camera and her head turns like this like it's <laughs> abigail you know <laughs> you know, you know that horror movie abigail yeah. it's like that <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's like, what yeah. the fuck? So I feel like if you're only learning your sex from on, on that's like, that sucks. I'm a suck. Because like, as people ask us this question too. They're like, how is your sex life different on camera versus off camera? And I'm yeah. like, well, on it's pretty much very similar. But on camera, I have to open my pussy this way. I have to turn my face that way. I have to and the guys, hold my we boobs have to up. open I have up, to, right, Max? Yeah, like there's so many things you have to position yourself for so the camera can see what's happening. Right. That I would never do if we're just like fucking to fuck. Yeah. Like there's no, so I don't know. I feel like it would be, I'm very sad to think someone joining the industry at like 18 with very little sexual experience having the majority of their sexual experience on camera because... There's so much more fun things you can do where you can you can here, be face here. to face with someone, you yeah. can look them in the eyes and on set that doesn't happen. Very good. Yeah. Good point. Good she's got a good head on her shoulders. <laughs> yeah. I try. And a good balcony too. <laughs> All right, time for what you must watch for this um, week, compiled by our wonderful friends at the mall.sexy. It's more than just shopping there. You can also watch movies. So here are some movies that they recommend that you go and check out. Um, Overworked Titties 20 with Connie Peregrine and Kendra Sutherland. Cheerleaders in Heat Volume 2 with Casey Kane, Macy Meadows, and Melanie Marie. Spring Breakers with Jasmine Wild, Octavia Red, and Rory Knox. And the career perspective this week is on the lovely Savannah Styles. I've worked with her. Very lovely woman. Uh, you can uh, follow her on Twitter at Savannah Styles and Instagram is instagram.com dot savannah styles underscore some of savannah styles movies to check out on the mall dot sexy include oral experts savannah styles milf swallow you, you were probably in that one there, maxi <laughs> uh alexis fox and nina l are in that with her and then something you can't refuse um that she did with alec gray and my love luna star Oh, you've got to do oh, the star. Yeah. Say both of you. I. Uh, she's a she's a hard she, lady to get in contact to. Oh. I don't think she shoots anymore. She well, I think she's. She does. Might be a Brazzers contract. Yes, maybe. she is. Yes, and yeah. so she here. mostly. I don't know. No, she does. Okay. She does here and there. Once in a blue I, moon. We yes. would love to. 
Yeah, I mean, I've always loved her work. I'll speak her in Spanish. She's Luna, beautiful and. It said, tell her in Spanish right now. I request for her to see what she would do. You're putting him on okay. the spot now. <laughs> but, yeah. Luna, por favor, nos encantaría trabajar contigo. Um, saludos. <laughs> we love you. That part. Okay. <laughs> All right, now it is time for. Cue up the music. Time for Weird Sex Facts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. kids, read off our weird sex facts. Oh, I just get to read them out loud? Yes. All right. I will begin. Okay. Babe, did you know that women's genitals... Pro project, project. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you know women's genitals taste and smell sweeter during ovulation? Wow. Yeah. Did you yeah. fucking max? <laughs> wow. Uh, did you do from that, uh, no, don't it, it doesn't have to be anything. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so good, happy sex is about talking to your partner mm -hmm. and learning what they like and don't like and not assuming they're enjoying it. This is so now, true. Now, this question I definitely wanted to ask the two of you. Okay. Yeah. You've been in a relationship now for, what, three, four years. Mm-hmm. Do you still talk to each other during the sex, or is it just robotic? I feel like I talk more during sex than I used to. Yeah. Because joining the industry has really warmed me up to dirty talk. Like, oh, cause I, didn't I really love like, dirty talk. Do yeah. you like dirty talk? Yeah, I love it. I would never know what to say like yeah. beforehand and then everyone when I started making my own videos they're like you should talk more talk more like say things talk more well give so us like, a scoopy snack like, oh my what? god yeah I don't know well I mean uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what I mean well I, I a lot of the dirty talk they like is for me to talk about my boobs and how like big and juicy they are and how they make your cock really hard and like maybe that hard cock can just slide right between them I just spit in them a little bit make them nice and wet just stroke that cock like up and down just like some stuff like that you know so uh, we just had uh, <laughs> 275 people just uh, popped right now <laughs> watching the show okay what's our next weird sex fact okay here maybe you go one out of 17 people are having sex right now. That's a good one. That's 400 million, million a day. Yeah. 400, well, that seems low. It should be 7 billion. We should all be fucking, well, oh, wait, no, there's children. <gasps> there's children in the 7 billion number. Now I'm thinking too hard about this. Oh, no. Yeah, watch out there, you. <laughs> I'm thinking you watch too hard. out. But Max, let's We need save to raise us. that number. Okay. Yes, please read something <laughs> else. Okay, so, uh, did you guys know that the average female orgasm lasts 20 seconds? I did know that, actually. Can confirm. And is that longer than the guys? Yeah, males only get about 6 seconds. But yeah, that's about right. It's that's about so the about sad. the length of an earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well. Huh. Well, it depends on the earthquake. It depends on the earthquake. <laughs> I feel the dick move under my feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I always kind of feel bad that men don't have the same depth and like variety of orgasms that women do. Kind of like an earthquake too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's very much a different variety of orgasms that there I feel is. like I have as a woman. I don't know if that's a thing for guys. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What's our next weird sex fact? Okay, this one's on both of these pages. Okay. The acidity slash pH level of an unaroused vagina is the same as a glass of red wine, and it gets less acidic when aroused to provide a more habitable environment for sperms. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hmm. That makes sense. So if you go up to the wine country and the winery is <laughs> closed, just stick a cup under your lady. Same difference. <laughs> you just squirt it in a, in a glass. A little extra you. yeast. A little carafe of vaginal juice. Yes. Max, oh, take us out with left. the next one. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay. This one's funny. According to the Smell and Taste Treatment and Research Foundation of Chicago, mm -hmm. the smell of pumpkin can increase blood flow to the penis, Ooh. providing some interesting insight in why men love Halloween and Thanksgiving so much. Is that true? Yes, I, I, it I, is. Personally, I couldn't give a shit about Halloween or <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, they're, I guess turkey's cool. Hmm. But it's, it's not about turkey. It's about the pumpkin. I yes. guess so, yeah. Like, I go to Starbucks in the fall, mm. 
pumpkin spice latte. Oh. And you're like, I, I, I'm like, oh, I love to love you, baby. You know, wow. It's like, no, Max, yes or no? No, no, no. no. Unfortunately, I don't. Mm, they need pumpkin. to do another study with women because I feel like all the women and I know love fall time. Yeah, they and all pumpkin women spice. Love fall. And like the women, all that. yeah, I think a lot True. more women out there love Halloween. Halloween yeah. is right around the corner. I know. And that also means that we've got another exotica coming up in New Jersey. Yay. That's going to be that um, last weekend right before Halloween. It's yes. going to be in Edison, New Jersey. We do have an Inside the Industry booth. Ooh. And I'm very happy to report <laughs> that Haley and Max have both um, said that they would like to be in the booth with us. So yes. welcome aboard. Thank you. They're going to be Ooh. in the booth with us at um, the Exotica Expo in the Inside the Industry booth. Should be really fun. So we will have a big line for both oh, of yeah. you I'm out so there. so excited to get out there because people have been asking now for me to go to this convention and I am finally think I'm going to make it this year. So if you're oh, we're in happy to have you. the East Coast, please come see me at New Jersey Exotica. Well, we're giving away some tickets, okay? Oh. Um, five lucky viewers or listeners will get a chance to go to the Exotica Expo. It's kind of like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate <laughs> yeah. Factory thing. But boobs. We're giving it but with boobs. <laughs> yeah. And um, all you need to do is write into insidecontest at gmail.com. Please make sure that you put Exotica Contest in the header. Mm -hmm. If it's for Urban X Awards, put Urban X Awards in the header. And also, if you would like to be one of the 30 lucky fans that's going to win a free ticket to go to the premiere of Scissors, our mainstream horror movie, at the Regal Theater right over here in Sherman Oaks, Galleria. That's going to be on September 17th, 6 to 7, is the red carpet. And then the premiere screening starts at 7 right into inside contest at gmail.com put scissors contest in that header that way my staff knows which contest to enter everybody in all right before we go um again plug whatever you'd like to already. plug yeah. all right well i have a couple things i have my first gangbang movie all or nothing coming out on my only fans august 23rd it will also be on adult time and you can check out all of my links, all of my socials, if you go to HaleyRose.com. That's HaleyRose.com. Check out everything you want to see from me, and we'll be right there. Yep, and, um... You have your website, too. Yeah, I have a website. My website is MaxFills.com. You can find all of my stuff there. It's very easy. Lots but more importantly, just HaleyRose.com. That's the easiest place to oh. find the, the gangbang. Um... Don't worry about adult time. They don't even have it for the next couple months, so fuck them. Um, the only people you need to worry no, about... No, 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 no. Let's no. take back the... Take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you want to yeah. work for them next week. So I, I so, love yeah. adult time, but yeah. it just, that's just the way I talk. Yeah. Um, but we should be working... Just focus on HaleyRose.com right now because that's the only place you'll be able to find the gangbang yeah. for a good while. Yes. Um, yeah, that's it. Don't worry about anything else. Cool. Cool. And... Um, <laughs> You give all your social where to find? Yeah, maxfills.com. Yeah. Okay. That's where you find everything. Oh, you can, Haley Rose it's H A I L E Y yeah. Rose.com. Yes, there's different ways to spell it, so yes. spell, oh, spell yeah. that Be right. Um, um, at James Bartolet on Twitter, at James Bartolet9 on Instagram, um, uh, OnlyFans.com slash James Bartolet, mm -hmm. and the same with Loyal Fans. Um, loyal Fans. InsideTheIndustry.net, Roku TV, our iHeart slash Spreaker radio shows. You can listen to the archive. We'll be posting the archive from tonight's radio. And then, of course, you'll see it right here on the TV channel. Mm -hmm. And um, don't forget to enter the contest, InsideContest at gmail.com. Make sure, if you're here in Southern California, make sure you got an earthquake kit in your house and in your car. Be prepared. Um, also, tomorrow, Thursday, we are on the picket line again um, for our contract agreement uh, for the video game performers and voiceover artists. And we will be at Disney Studios tomorrow over in Burbank. That's going to be from 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. Um, all SAG members come down, just show your SAG card. Or you could have the app on your telephone um, your SAG after app and you can just show them that and come and join us down there uh, for that protest there from uh, 9 to 12 
afternoon. We don't want this strike to go on as long as last year's no. strike. Let's get this resolved really quickly. And uh, by the way, I found out that there are some actors that are going in there working on these shoots and they're working on non-union projects. If they're not sanctioned through SAG-AFTRA, then no. I know we need to work, dude. I know we need to work. But if you are in the union, that's rule number one. You cannot work on a non-union project, okay? That could get you kicked out of the union, okay, and fined. So don't do that. I know it's really hard. Oh, what am I going to do? Get out on the picket line. Help us. Let's get the word out there. We're striking because we want better conditions, okay? And mainly about the AI. That's number one what this is all about. There is a threat of the AI. That's what I mean about better conditions, okay? They can Fair. take AI of us, and they have, by the way. Oh, My yeah. staff and I looked this afternoon, and there's AI of us already out there. I'm sure there is. Without yeah. our permission. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we need to get this under control and make sure that we're protected. Oh, yeah, you know, serious. Yeah. We have to really watch out for it. And in the adult industry, this shit is popping up all oh, over yeah. the place. And oh, we need to stop this. So it is a very viable threat. And don't, by the way, if you see on a tube site and you see an AI of this gal, don't watch that. Watch the real yes, thing. There's only one of me. And it's yeah. Right yeah, we it's, post on Pornhub. We post on Pornhub. Yeah. There's real stuff. You can on check there. out my yeah. Haley Rose official Pornhub account. Mm -hmm. um, Good company. Please, yeah, yeah, support them. Yeah, 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 most definitely. All right. Um, thank you so much, you two. Will you oh, please come you, back James. on again yes, soon? Yeah. Please. We had a wonderful time. So I would love too, to. Yeah. yeah. You were so thank nice. You, so you much. made me food and you brought yeah. me on here. Uh, Let me <laughs> talk to my fans. This is just like great. A great uh, evening. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. <laughs> Till next time, I'm James Bartelay. I'm Haley Rose. And I'm Max Phils. Good night and good sex. Bye.